So here we have the Kia Sportage on a 16 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So as we approach the boot you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat and then underneath this tray section we have a space saver spare wheel as you can see. Okay so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside but now that we've done a full circle of it you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way round. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's what we're seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, so now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, and on the right-hand side, the speedometer and fuel gauge. In the middle, you can see the total miles for this car are 18,115. Uh, the information displayed above that can be changed using buttons on the steering wheel. So at the moment you can see there's a digital readout for the speedometer. But you can go through various different bits of trip computing information. And there are more menus available along the top. Uh, so satellite navigation, uh, vehicle systems, your audio menu, car settings and user settings. And then back round to the beginning again. If we back out to the steering wheel. The buttons I was using just a moment ago are over this side. We've also got cruise control over there as well. And then on the left hand side, we have stereo controls as well as the ability to answer and end phone calls. Uh, that is, of course, once you've paired up your phone, and that's done on the screen over in the center just here. So this is all touch screen, but you do have buttons beneath it, for example, for phone. You then use the touch screen to pair it from there. We're on the radio screen at the moment, so you can see that we have got FM, AM, and DAB radio. If you want to listen to your own music, you can do. Just hit the media button. Nothing's connected at the moment, uh, although this car does have uh, USB input or auxiliary input. You can also stream your music wirelessly uh, via Bluetooth audio as well. We've got satellite navigation on top of that. There's a full video showing how that works on both our website and Facebook page. And we have a full color reversing camera as well with guidelines showing you what direction the car is headed in in relation to the image that you see on the screen. Working our way down, we have dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger temperature, the driver temperature, the fan speed up and down from here. You can determine where you'd like the air to be distributed. That button turns the air conditioning off, back on again, or you can hit auto and the car will now take control of the fan speed and the direction of the air to maintain the temperatures that you've asked for. And you can override that whenever you wish to. All of these settings, all the adjustments I'm making, they all show at the top of this screen, as you can see just there as well. Working our way down beneath that, we've got two 12 volt charging sockets underneath these caps, as well as the auxiliary and USB inputs. We have the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox. And then to the right hand side of that, these buttons just here. So firstly, that one turns off the parking sensors. These are all to do with the driving of the car. So that will turn on downhill brake control. This will lock the car as four wheel drive. And this will put the car in sport or normal mode. Now you'll know uh, what you've done with these buttons because it will show you up on here. So the downhill brake control, for example, you can see I've just pressed that and that is now on. If I want to lock uh, the car in four-wheel drive, that's done. You can see that green symbols come on and it shows you at the top there, uh, four-wheel drive lock and drive mode, sport or normal, sport, normal. And you can turn off those other systems just as easily as you turn them on as well. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.